I'm going to show you the drainage module. This module is very good at helping to eliminate some of the unknown or guesstimate elements that can be encountered when pricing up drainage works. Let's start putting in some numbers. My pipe run is going to be 17 linear metres, so I'll enter 17 here in the red box. The depth of drainage can be a bit tricky, as it is on an incline, so I'll click on the red question mark here. In the picture I'll enter the minimum depth, or highest point, of my excavation. This is 0.6 linear metres. I will then enter the maximum depth, 1.2 linear metres. The programme uses these numbers to calculate the average depth I'll be digging, which is 0.9 linear metres. I will have two soakaways, so two here. Inspection chambers, I will click on the red question mark. The picture shows me the dimension of these. I'm happy with this, but you can change them here in the picture if you want. I'll be using three inspection chambers, one gully, three storm drain inlets, one septic tank and one rodding eye. From these numbers the pricing up has been done. But let's look a bit closer. There are some yellow boxes that may require my judgement, and as with any of the modules, whilst it has been worked out, I'm still in complete control and able to fine-tune it to my exact requirements, either here in the pricing sheet and just for this job, or if I know I'll want things a certain way for every job I do, I can change it in my master copy. Here on the excavation line, I can see the hours are highlighted yellow, so my own judgement may be needed for this. The hours seem quite high, so I'll click on the red question mark here. In the picture I can say how many hours per cubic metre I want to allow. I'm going to reduce this number, as I do have quite a high volume of drainage in this job. I will enter 0.7 cubic metres excavated per hour. I'll also be using a bigger machine. I'll select a 3.5 tonne excavator here in the drop down menu. The hours have now changed to match my choices. For the waste disposal, again, this is in the yellow box and may require your judgement, as the programme cannot know what access or space is available at the site you're pricing for. The default has selected an 8 yard skip. I won't be using this. I'll click on the red question mark. I'm going to use a 17 and a half tonne grab lorry, so I click on the picture and this is entered into the programme. As with all our modules, the drainage module has helpful diagrams to assist you through every single step of your pricing. There is a selection of bends for you to choose from, 15, 22 and a half degree, 45 and so on. I need four 15 degree bends and nine 22 and a half degree bends. I'll be using one gully, rotting eyes I'll need one, and I'll want one septic tank and cover. I can see the material cost and the hours for each of these items here. I'll just click on the question mark for the septic tank. In this diagram I can see how all the calculations have been worked out. I will be leaving the dimensions as they are, but you can use this self-explanatory picture to alter and adjust the measurements to meet with your exact requirements. As I mentioned at the start, this module really does take away the guesstimate elements of pricing drainage that when guessed incorrectly can cost you time, money and your reputation. If there is a part load charge for your concrete, then the module will calculate it here for you. I'll just click on the aggregates around the pipe question mark. In this diagram, you can work out the exact amount of stone you'll need by using the defaults if they match what you're doing or by entering your own dimensions into the self-explanatory diagram. Wastage isn't added in this picture to enable you to see the exact amount you will need but back on the pricing sheet, it is allowed. This isn't something I would look at every time I priced. Rather, I'd set my master copy to my preferences, then it would be that way every time I priced up a job. My soak away infill is also calculated. I'll just click on the question mark. I can see how the calculations have been worked out. I will be leaving this as it is, but you can change it if you wish. By entering the numbers into the red cells at the top of the screen, my drainage has all been calculated. With the help of the straightforward layout of the pricing sheet and the interactive diagrams to assist me, everything is accurate and exactly as I need it, so no more guesswork. I can see the totals for my plant, materials, hours, labour and total cost here along the bottom.